Some of Iraq's looted artifacts have been recovered from ISIL. U.S. Special Forces brought them from Syria to Iraq's Kurdish region before delivering them home. Jane Araf was at the ribbon-cutting ceremony in Baghdad. Every object displayed in a museum has a number. Three of these have numbers from the Iraq Museum here in Baghdad. They were believed to have been looted in 2003. But as for the rest, it's going to take a lot of research to determine where they came from. An engineer in Afghanistan has recently built the country's first ever solar-powered car. He told Jennifer Glass he hopes to have the car mass-produced for ordinary Afghans one day. This is certainly a very basic model. There's no room for storage, no airbags, and not a lot of maneuverability. It's not the ideal car for Kabul traffic. In a time of social media and digital technology, there's a generation of Argentines that is captivated by the written word, enamored with the rustle of paper and the smell of ink on the page. Daniel Schweinler is in Buenos Aires, where bookstores continue to thrive. Books, bookshops, readers and writers are an intrinsic part of the Buenos Aires landscape, standing the test of time and the advance of modern technology, living by the idea that a good book is a good book no matter what the format. All this and more on Al Jazeera.